Would you say your success has come from going all in on your passions? Well, I just go, if you meet me in real life, you think I'm maybe kind of a boring guy. I, I go all out of anything but my business and my fitness. Like, if it's not business related or fitness related, it's not really in my life. So I'm just like, I, I don't, it doesn't feel like I'm all in on my business and my, my fitness and everything. But if I look at like what I do every single day, if I look at all my goals, if I look at like my calendar, it's like all about my business or my health and fitness. There's some relationship stuff. There's some relationship stuff in there as well, for sure. Like on the weekends, Saturday and Sunday is for relationships. But other than that, like even on those days, I'm like itching just to get back to work because I'm just anything. Again, it's not like super health related or business related. I'm just not really interested in. So, um, well, I'm when the, on the weekends, it's funny on the weekends when I'm having like my relationship time, it's usually like at the spa, right? Something very healthy or it's out in nature, something very healthy and fitness related because you're going for walks. Um, or it's, yeah, it's just hanging out at my friend's place, working on the computer, like doing more business stuff. So anything else is just out. And uh, that's, that, people don't talk about that enough. They don't talk about sacrifice. They just talk about going all in. Well, to go all in, I mean, you, you, you instantly become all in if you just cut out all the distractions. Like the best way to focus is to cut out distractions. The best way to go all in is to just cut out all the other stuff that has nothing to do with your passions. And you, you, you can't have like a bunch of different passions and be really good at them all. So there's things I, I really love doing. There's things that I'm like passionate about, like making music, but I suck at making music and I'm okay with sucking at music because I appreciate musicians so much. I appreciate musicians so much that I can live vicariously through them and be okay with that. And so I, I don't own any music making equipment anymore. I've sold it all, give it all away. Garbage, done, out of my life. Despite loving making music, I don't do it anymore because it distracts me from my business and my fitness. So like if you come to my house, you'll see like there's nothing here besides fitness equipment. I have a float, a fitness equipment for my body. I have a float tank for my mind. I have a uh, red lights all around my house. So when nighttime comes, the lights go red and I can sleep really well. I got a bunch of notebooks laying around so I can be clear on my thoughts and my ideas and got several laptops all in every different room of the house. So I can have a laptop in every room I need to find where my laptop is. And my house is totally geared for what I'm doing. And there's, you'll see I'm, take this very seriously um, because I just, I love it so much, but I don't feel like I'm going all in. I just cut out anything but this because I just think it's a distraction. Anytime I'm having a conversation with someone about anything other than again, business or health, fitness, or, you know, improving relationships. Like I, I just not, not interested. Gossip and drama and the news and you know what, that trending topic right now that's been affecting our world for the past eight, nine months. Like, I don't even want to talk about it, man. It's just such a 